so without doing delay we will be starting today's class three two one go yes the first chapter is force children children what is a force it is an external cause which uh, tends to change the shape of an object size of an object position of an object direction of object also according to the newton second law of motion f is equal to ma and force is a vector quantity its si units are newton cj units are dyne okay and how these two are related one newton is equal to 10 power 5 dyne and children here one important relation is that here 1 kgf is equal to 9.8 newton now what happens when force acts on your body so it depends here we have to see whether the body is free to move or it is a pivoted if a body is free to move it will the body will show translational motion if a body is pivoted it will show rotational motion next come to the moment of a force children whenever a body is a pivoted example like a door when a force is applied on it what will happen there will be a turning effect so turning effect on your body about a uh, axis of rotation is only due to the moment of force so called torque so mathematically how can we define moment of force is defined as the product of so product of magnitude of force and perpendicular distance between point of application of force to the axis of rotation so mathematically tau is equal to f into r and moment of force like force torque is a vector quantity its si units are newton meter cj units are dyne centimeter here the how these two are related children one newton meter is equal to 10 power 5 dyne centimeter and in exam they ask a question how can you increase the moment of force yes by increasing the magnitude of force or by increasing the perpendicular distance even with the help of both also we can increase then how can we decrease the moment of force by decreasing the magnitude of force and perpendicular distance we can decrease the torque fine yes and here one more important thing children so clockwise moment of force is taken as a negative anti-clockwise moment of force is taken as a positive and what are the examples children so if you want to understand the example so you should let us recall once again tau is equal to f into r children can you write like this uh, f is equal to tau by r yes for a given moment of force force is inversely proportional to the perpendicular distance which means what if you increase the perpendicular distance definitely magnitude of the force whatever the magnitude of force which is required will be less means if perpendicular distance is more effort required will be very less is it clear so because of that only spanner is provided with a long handle why so spanner with a long handle perpendicular distance is more so that less effort is required to produce the enough moment of force so same thing happens with door why a handle is provided at the end of the door only at the end of the door because perpendicular distance is more so that less effort is required to open the door to close the door same thing with the screw jack also or jack screw is it clear fine children next couple what is a couple hey generally when we go to the marriage we can see that hey see the couple so made for each other right okay actually couple means what children two but here the, we are talking about not a, a bride or a bridegroom here we will be talking about the two forces children so what is a couple here two equal anti-parallel forces but not acting along the same line of action of force form couple this is clear fine children and here you can see here two equal forces acting on the same body which is pivoted in a opposite direction both are parallel only but opposite direction example children if you want to uh, turn the tap yes there couple is needed and even children if you want to open the bottle cap close the bottle cap and even what we can say turning of a key in a lock these all these all are the examples of couple which are related to our day-to-day -day life okay fine next moment of a couple so how to define the moment of a couple it is a product of either a force and perpendicular distance between these two forces that is f into d so moment of, of a couple is also vector only and its units torque units both are same done yes now come to the equilibrium now it's come to the equilibrium what is the equilibrium children 
Several forces acting on your body do not change either the state of rest or state of uniform motion. Then the body is said to be in equilibrium. Here we have two types of equilibrium children. Static equilibrium, dynamic equilibrium. What is the static equilibrium? Number of forces acting on your body, what we can say, they do not change the its state of rest. Then we can say that that body is in static equilibrium. Example, the book lying on the table. Yes, even beam balance in equilibrium. If you can see the beam of the beam balance children when you are measuring. So both uh, pants will be in a, you know, in the same level in that condition. The beam will be in a uh, static equilibrium. When come to the dynamic equilibrium, what is the dynamic equilibrium children here? The number of forces acting on your body do not change either its state of uniform motion or a state of what we can say uniform, what we can say circular motion. Then we can say that the body is in dynamic equilibrium. Example children, the moon revolving around the earth, yes, it comes under dynamic equilibrium. And here the water drop which is falling with a uniform speed near the earth's surface, yes, taken as example for dynamic equilibrium. Examination point of view, they will ask us to write the conditions. What is the first condition children? Yes, the resultant of all the forces acting on your body must be zero. That is algebraic sum of the forces acting on your body must be zero. Second one, the algebraic sum of the moments of force about a point of rotation must be zero. So writing this is mandatory about point of rotation is zero. Yes. Next principle of moments children what is the principle of moments in equilibrium in equilibrium the sum of clockwise moments of forces are always equal to the the sum of the anti clockwise moments of forces in a single statement we can say that in equilibrium the algebraic sum of the moments of forces about the pivot point point of rotation must be zero and here beam balance will work on this principle of moments in exam they may ask a question name a device which works on this principle of moments yes you have to write beam balance is it clear fine children just copy this we will discuss now about the center of gravity and circular motion hope have you copied this hope you have copied okay now done yes okay children now come to the center of gravity children what is the center of gravity the point about which the algebraic sum of the weights of all the particles constant the body must be zero. Is that clear? Fine children. And the important point regarding center of gravity is that it can be situated outside of its material also. So in exam they may ask you a question. Can the center of gravity be situated outside of its material? Yes, it can be. Example what children? It is the ring. And the center of gravity depends on shape of an object, mass distribution. By changing the shape of an object children, the center of gravity will be shifted. For example, if you can take a thin wire, center of gravity will be at a midpoint. For suppose, you know, one wire will be there like this, one wire will be there. Its center of gravity will be somewhere else here. If it is made in the form of a ring, what will happen? Center of gravity will be situated to this point. Is that clear? So that is how we can say that center of gravity depends on shape of an object. Okay, fine. And here children, let us see a few examples of uh, center of gravity of an object. Especially examination point of view, center of gravity of a solid cone, halo cone is very important. So center of gravity of solid cone from its base is h by 4. Whereas center of gravity of halo cone from its base it is h by 3. And the very important thing is that sometimes they will ask from a vertex. Vertex means what? This height they will ask. So to get this what we have to do h minus h by 3 so this is going to be 2 h by 3 from its vertex whereas in the case of uh, solid cone it is going to be 3 h by 4 okay for a triangular lamina children the point of intersection of medians whereas for a square or a rectangle the point of intersection of diagonals whereas for a rod at uh, center god will be uh, at its midpoint clear done now come to the uniform linear motion. Children, what is a linear motion? If any object is going along a straight line path, such a motion is called linear motion. Uniform linear motion means what actually? A body is covering equal displacements in equal interval of timings. Then the body is said to be moving with a uniform motion. So the body which is in uniform motion children, it has means its speed and velocity remains constant. 
as the velocity remains constant children definitely what will happen acceleration will be zero as it is acceleration is zero that's what uniform linear motion is also called as unaccelerated motion then come to the uniform circular motion what is circular motion if any object is going along a circular path such a motion is a circular motion but what is the uniform circular motion in a what we in a circular motion if a body has a uh, uniform speed such a motion we can call it the uniform circular motion means in a uniform circular motion children speed remains constant but not velocity which means what here look at this diagram this diagram is a very important examination point of view so at every point velocity magnitude might be same but its direction is changing which means what as velocity is a vector quantity so velocity oh, its direction is changing so velocity is a variable as velocity is a variable children definitely acceleration is not zero that is the reason why uniform circular motion is also called as accelerated motion clear fine children now come to the centripetal force and the centrifugal force children in exam they ask a question so name the force which is required to keep a body in a uniform circular motion or a circular motion yes it is nothing but centripetal force so centripetal force is needed for any object to go in a circular path and the centripetal force is a real force it is always towards the center why it is a real force yes external cause will be there that's what centripetal force is a real force it is always towards the towards the center of a circular path you must write center of circular path you must write examples let us see children if you can take electron nuclear system the electrostatic force between electron and a nucleus provides centripetal force whereas a planet sun system in that gravitational force provides centripetal force if you can take a string and a stone system a stone is you know attached to a string and go on whirling like this then what happen their string provides their tension force will be there okay now that provides the required centripetal force when comes to the centrifugal force the force which is directed away from the center of circular path is called centrifugal force it is not a real force rather it is a fictitious force children when you can see the magnitudes of a centripetal and centrifugal forces yes both are equal that's what we can write the ratio of the magnitude magnitudes of centripetal and centrifugal force are 1 is to 1 but why it is a minus here because both are equal in magnitude but opposite direction only children because both are equal in opposite direction can we say that centripetal uh, centripetal and centrifugal forces both can form action reaction forces no they can never they can never form action reaction pair you make it on not sir why not sir both are equal and opposite you should try to understand once recall uh, reaction uh, what we can say uh, action reaction pair action reaction forces will act on two different bodies but whereas here centripetal and centrifugal both forces are acting on the same body hence they do not form action reaction forces so this is a fourth chapter is it clear just copy the concepts we will discuss the concepts of work power energy